Hi there, this is the Chernef trap in the Four Nights Sicilian and it's been brought to my attention by the prolific Irving Chernef as usual. e4 and c5, knight f3, knight c6, the Sicilian. c takes d4 and knight takes d4, knight f6 and knight c3. So after e6, white has many choices available. Uh, I used to like playing knight takes on uh, c6 then pushing e5 here we're looking at a line bishop e2 black goes for bishop b4 which threatens the pawn on e4 as the knight on c3 is pinned so here we go for a gambit line played by white offering up that pawn on e4 so black can try bishop takes on c3 and after b takes on c3 Black gobbles up the pawn. Bishop f3 gives white uh, some active peace play, but is offering up this second pawn. Uh, so what should black play in this position? Well, the most common move here is d5, and that's the move being played by Elianov, Volokitin, Yakovic, and Van der Veel. And black's doing okay with d5. But the move knight takes on c3 is iffy but just about playable so black here is already two pawns ahead hitting the white queen but queen d3 hits the knight and now the knight's gonna have to move or does it well not really queen f6 would be black's best option here because if uh, queen takes on c3 if the white queen takes on c3 then white's knight on d4 is also hanging so queen f6 gives black chances in this position if instead a move like knight a4 then white will most probably play bishop a3 developing and keeping black's king in the center with a nice initiative here for white and instead of knight to the rim with knight a4 we're looking in this variation at knight back to d5 because here already white is close to winning after bishop takes on d5 e takes on d5 really exposes black's hapless king there on e8 rook e1 is going to send the king back to, or send the king to f8 and now knight f5 d6 is going to be played by black releasing the bishop and uh, closing off that hole that appealing hole on d6 because it looks as if white was threatening to go knight d6 with rook e8 so d6 natural and hitting the knight but that allows white to go in the other direction with knight takes on g7 well black really is struggling here losing in all variations if king takes on g7 then queen g3 is check and after the king comes out to f6 queen g5 is mate of course the king couldn't go anywhere else because if the king would have gone to f8 then bishop h6 would have been mate so going back after knight takes on g7 then black can defend with knight e5 holding the position by hitting the white queen on d3 but this is a nice uh, combination by white here so giving up the queen on d3 no need to move the queen no knight h5 not a altogether obvious move because if now knight takes on d3 then white is winning with bishop h6 check king g8 and uh, a number of ways to win knight f6 or rook e8 check forcing queen takes the rook but knight f6 is quite a delightful mate so going back and after black's played knight e5 and white plays knight h5 giving up the queen black can't take the queen so might try bishop e6 but white will be winning after now the exchange sack rook takes on e5 getting rid of that pesky knight d takes on e5 and now bishop a3 check sending the king back into the center with king e8 and queen b5 now is winning because if 
queen d7, then knight to f6 picks up the queen with a, a fork. And after queen b5, if black would have interposed with the bishop, bishop d7, then we have mate on the move now with knight going back to g7 with checkmate. So this has been the Chernef trap in the four knights Sicilian. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.